Check us out. You won't be disappointed. From the station that's on your side, News 12, First at Four continues. Nobody here cheers about women being slammed back in the dark ages and all of society slammed backwards. Protesters outside the Supreme Court today demonstrating against the overturning of the landmark Roe v. Wade. Meanwhile, states are rolling out their own policies on abortion. Plus, a family tragedy. A sister and her two little brothers drown at Clark's Hill Lake. Now they're doing everything they can to figure out what happened. We're following a heartbreaking story. Three siblings are dead after a drowning last night at the Amity Recreation Area at the lake in Lincoln County. The Sheriff's Office confirms 22-year-old Raven uh, Powell and 4-year-old Mason and 3-year-old Sawyer Powell all drowned. Our Claire Allen is live at Clarks Hill Lake. Claire, you talked to the family today. It's hard to imagine their pain. The family said they have no other word to describe their feelings other than being devastated. A cousin of the siblings say that they were so excited to come to the lake, but never imagined things could change in the blink of an eye. The drowning happened around 5 p.m. last night. The two boys were swimming with their older sister at the Amity Rec Rec Recreation Area. It's a beach area with sand on the lake, surrounded by buoys for families to swim. Family members tell me Mason and Sawyer Powell were so excited to go to the lake, and you never saw them without a smile on their face. They also say the siblings were loving and special in their own way. I think everybody knows if you met them, if you knew them, you knew the love of them, and there was nothing else you could do. We just want answers. On news from at 6 o'clock, we hear from the GBI on what they think, how this happened. We will have more updates as they come. Reporting in Clark Hill, Claire Allen, on your side. Certainly heartbreaking. Thanks for that update there, Claire. Well, big news out of Washington. Tap those rain chances and where those temperatures are going to be going coming up in about 10 minutes. A family in McDuffie County heartbroken after heartbroken after two little boys and their older sister drowned in Clarks Hill Lake yesterday. The Lincoln County Coroner telling us those siblings are three-year-old Sawyer, four-year-old Mason, 22-year-old Raven Powell. They died sometime after 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Claire Allen live now from the Amity Recreation Center where all of this happened. And Claire, you talked to the cousin of those siblings. What did she have to say? The family had a lot to say, but new information from the DNR revealed that bystanders recovered the bodies of the two boys. DNR also used sonar equipment to locate their sister just before 11 p.m. Thursday night. Family members say they never expected this spot is where they would spend their final moments. They were, uh, they were our world. They meant, they mean everything to us. A grief-stricken family is left wondering what happened to siblings Raven, Mason, and Sawyer Powell. There's no words to describe it other than horrible. It, it's crazy how it happened within a blink of an eye. The two boys were swimming with their oldest sister in a beach area at the Amity Recreational Area. After five Thursday evening, their bodies were found in the water. It makes me never even want to come back to the lake again. Family members say the boys were adventurous in love playing in the water. Hannah says a Snapchat video from earlier in the afternoon briefly showed the boys in life jackets, which is why they have so many questions about how this happened. Both boys were the happiest ever. We never seen them without a smile on their face unless they were hungry. A family left waiting for answers, broken hearts, and loving memories. I have this video of me just laying there on the couch with both boys. At the end of the video, both of them grabbed me by my face and kissed me. And Sawyer, he has just learned how to say I love you. And I feel like they're they're at peace now. Now, the GBI is taking the lead on this case. We did ask them if they ruled out any foul play. And they told us that they have not ruled out anything at this point. They are conducting interviews, following leads, and waiting for autopsy results to know more. As for the family, they say they would never be the same after this incident. And Clark Hill, Claire Allen, on your side. All right, thanks for that, Claire. Our hearts are certainly with that family. Breaking news, we are learning the child hit by a car earlier today in Augusta Ooh, is in critical condition. 
the Richmond County Sheriff's Office tells us the victim is a 13 year old. It all happened this morning on White Road at Kissing Valor Road. Officials are still investigating. There are no charges right now as they finish up all the tying up all of the loose ends. Shifting gears now.